Welcome or welcome back to session zero where I discuss Dungeon World. Today I want to talk about why the most important question for world building is why. For this video I'll demonstrate this with a giant scorpion because, well, it's awesome. From Magic the Gathering and a terribly animated Dwayne Johnson to, yes, even Final Fantasy VII, the giant scorpion is a lot of fun. Of course, we concern ourselves with the mechanics of a monster in Dungeon World. It's stats, weapon, and tags, it's high-level goal or instinct, and some moves. The Dungeon World rulebook gives us the house and what's on page 224 and 225. This provides a great starting point for the mechanics behind a Dungeon World monster. What it doesn't give us, because the answers depend on what's going on at your table, is why, and why does some pretty heavy lifting. Why does this monster have this instinct? Why these moves? A very important why is, why is it here? Was it put here by someone else? Does it live here? Or is it just passing through? Why was it put here? Or why does it live here? If it's just passing through, why? Some great world building can happen when you start asking why. Why is this particular giant scorpion in this mine? Example 1. It was summoned by a wizard to run off the miners because there's something else in the mine the wizard seeks. So, who's that wizard? And what's down there? Example 2. It lives here because it feeds on gems there, but the miners have disturbed it. What are the gems and why are they here? Example 3. It's passing through the mine on its way to its mating grounds. Where are the mating grounds and are there going to be more giant scorpions passing through also? Furthermore, is this a known occurrence? Because if it is, someone will find a way to exploit it. Answering these questions not only feeds world building, it also feeds mechanics. The scorpion in the first example was summoned here, so that's why its instinct is to escape. It just wants to get back home. The gems the second scorpion feeds on have regenerative properties, so that's why I give it a move to regenerate health. The mating grounds are deep in the mantle of the planet, so that's why its special quality is immune to heat and fire. So which came first, the scorpion or the mine, the wizard or the ore, or the deep mantle mating grounds? That completely depends on what's going on at your table. Regardless of which came first though, the most important why is, why does this intersect with the character's story? Not how. How can be answered more simply, because I want a cool monster for them to fight, or I needed a reason for them to go to the mine. Why is more complex, and it doesn't matter which actually came first, as long as you're asking why. From example one, the scorpion is in the mine because the wizard the PCs are trailing summoned it here. This is a case where I made the scorpion first. In example two, the scorpion is there because it feeds on the regenerative gems which the PCs are seeking. Here I made the gems first, and made the monstrous scorpion because that's the example I'm using. Finally, from the third example, the scorpions here are heading to the mantle for mating. This came about because I wanted a passage leading deep into the earth, and more whys came from it. Why did this passage exist? Again, not how, but why. How can be answered with, the passage was created by a purple worm. But the answer to why is, by a purple worm feeding on underground creatures. And guess what it gets its fill of at least once a year? Giant scorpions. And now we have an ecology? which increases verisimilitude. How and what are important, but why is the most important question for world building, at least in my opinion. So here's a little exercise. Tell me in the comments why Monster ABC is in location XYZ. Just a few sentences to get your world building juices flowing. Like, sub, and smash the bell if you want to. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.